Well, Mickey Kaku would say, well, it's because you have a multiverse. Here's why this is the way it is. If you have enough chances, if you bang out enough universes, eventually one is going to look like this. That's all there is to it. As a matter of fact, I actually think that that is the tail that wags the dog on multiverse theory. I think that people want to explain the fine-tuning of the universe. It's such a problem, and no other explanation is working. So now they're saying, okay, if there are enough chances to get this universe, then eventually you're going to get this universe. I can overcome the crazy long odds against dealing 208 or 28 uh, straight of you know, royal flushes if I just have enough chances. He puts it this way. In this multiverse of universes, most universes are dead. The proton is not stable. Atoms never condense. DNA never forms. The universe collapses prematurely or freezes almost immediately. But in our universe, a series of cosmic accidents has happened, not necessarily because of the hand of God, but because of the law of averages. In other words, I told you last night about this idea of this pot of boiling water, this quantum environment in which particles emerge for no reason and then grow into the size of universes. If the pot is filled and is also growing and has been doing that since all eternity, that means we've got a lot of universes in that pot. Make sense? Now the question is, why would you believe there is a pot? Why would you believe this is actually happening? What is the evidence to support this claim? There is not a lot of evidence to support this claim. It's all kind of speculation, and it's metaphysical conjectures. As a matter of fact, Paul Dave, I wonder what Paul Davies says about this. <laughs> Paul Davies says, prominent scientists and commentators have used words such as fantasy, virus, and intellectually bankrupt on their denunciations. For these theoretical physicists hard at work trying to formulate a unique final theory, the multiverse comes across as a cheap way out. Randomness plus observer selection, again, the fact we happen to be observing in a universe we happen to be in, strikes many physicists as an ugly and impoverished explanation compared with an overarching mathematical theory that pins down the properties of the world with quantitative precision and interweaves them into harmonious unity. In other words, Paul's not a fan of multiverse, okay? Because he thinks there's not enough evidence to support it. But it would explain why we happen to be in a universe that appears to be fine-tuned. It's because, well, how many of these universes do we have to begin with? How many of these things are there in the set of multiverses? Well, there's no reason to believe there's anything less than an infinite number. Why would you say, well, there's 537? <laughs> okay, how do you get to that number? Well, no, the idea here is that you're in an infinitely old, eternal, quantum environment that produces universes. So how many are there going to be? It's going to be infinite. Really? Now, of course, if you had an infinite number of universes, one's going to look like ours. But therein lies the problem. Think about this for a second. If I've got an infinite collection of universes here, and let's say just some small, small, small percentage looks like ours, Say point zero 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 one percent. How many universes look like ours? An infinite number. Because any fraction of an infinite gives you what? An infinite. This is the problem with infinites. So what how many universes kind of look like ours? With our universal constants, an infinite number. Okay, if that same percentage of the universes that look like ours actually have humans, it'd be a small number, that have humans that have formed nations with the same names as ours. That'd be a small, 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 small percentage. But it's of an infinite. So how many are there? Oh. Of those... 
that there's a small, small, small percentage that not only have our names as nations, but have the exact same populations, and all of the people in those populations have all the same names as you and me. How many are there? An infinite. And if, if those, there's a small, small fraction in which they are meeting on a Saturday in a building just like this in a town called, you know, it's exactly the same as us, listening to a guy saying the exact same words, how many of those universes are there? Oh, they're infinite. And then, of those, if there's a small percentage in which everything's the same except that the guy named J. Warner Wallace is wearing a red shirt instead of a blue shirt, how many of those are there? Do you see the problem with this thinking? Well, so do the scientists. So Alan Guth, who's a theoretical physicist and cosmologist, he says, wait a minute, this is ridiculous. If there's a multiverse, as you suggest, that could provide this kind of fine-tuning, then you've got an infinite number of universes like ours, and an infinite number in which we're exactly the same, and an infinite number in which we're all the same, we're in different shirt colors. That means if the multiverse is true, he says, there's a universe where Elvis is still alive. Now do you see how absurd this explanation is? So when I talk about multiverses, I'm just like, the first question I'm going to ask anyone who proposes we're in a multiverse is, how many universes do you think are in the multiverse? If, there's got, if they say anything less than an infinite, I want to know why would you think there's anything less than an infinite? And once they bite and say, well, there's an infinite number, they're toast. <laughs> if there's an infinite number of universes with all kinds of different conditions, isn't it then reasonable that one of them would be governed by a God? Do you see where your infinites lead you? They lead you to all kinds of things. You'd have to at least say, well, maybe this is the universe in which God exists. Now, I grant you that's a stupid approach, but my point is, <laughs> do you see where that kind of thinking takes you? Okay. Okay. 